how's camp been for you three days in? Uh, it's been really good. Uh, I finally am acclimated to the playbook, which is really nice. Feeling really confident with it. It's allowing me to play fast and physical how I want to be. So um, no complaints. Day three. So we're just going to keep building and keep stacking days. How is this camp different from SC's camp structurally? I mean, is it, is it feel similar? Is it very different? Uh, I would say it's pretty similar. Besides, uh, the only thing I would say is that we practice in the morning over here, which is nice. I like it because then you have the rest of the day to recover and watch film. So that's been really nice for my body and um, my mental as well. So being able to like do that in the morning, have all day to evaluate and sit on what you did and make corrections and then you know, write some things down and go out there the next day and attack it, attack that. So I'm sure SC has a reason they do it. When they do it, what did they say they wanted to do it at that time of day, do you know? Um, I'm not sure. I just think that was the way structurally that they set it up. Okay. And everyone has their own philosophy. So, I mean, they probably thought it worked better that way. And then here, you know, everyone has their own thing. And then okay. we think it works better this way. Personally, I like it this way, so. Were you able to stay in your same, I don't know if you were in an apartment or what, but stay in the same place or did you have to move when you came over? Uh, when I came over, I actually ended up having two spots, one still over there that I was paying off. <laughs> and then I had this spot over here. So I actually ended that lease this past month. So that was nice. So that's like a, a good little check that from my stipend that I don't have to go pay over there. So that was cool. Good uh, life lesson, huh? Right. No, exactly. Sign those six months. Don't do, <laughs> don't do those 12. Go so. month to month. <laughs> right. You can. Exactly. Uh, you were pretty vocal in spring already out on the field. Uh, <laughs> does, did it, does it come easy to you to kind of take on a leadership role, or is that just a product of experience so many years at USC? What do you think that is due to? I think I've always been that way. Um, I think coming over here and being able to be that role, be in that role, has been a blessing for me and I really don't take that for granted just uh, I don't really take anything for granted but that in particular because I just want to be a guy that comes in here and works hard and I know the first thing that I said to these guys is like I'm not going to come in here saying all this and that like I want to prove to you that I'm a good teammate that this and that and then you know once I feel like I'm trying to earn that respect then maybe I'll say something but I never would love like no one wants someone to come up in here new transfer guy and just start talking and talking and talking so I feel like I'm kind of earned a lot of respect from my teammates, which I'm really thankful for, and I'm really thankful for the way they've welcomed me in. So, uh, yeah, I mean, so now it's, I feel like I'm starting to take on that role even more, and I'm just trying to be a better leader every day through my actions and then through my words rather than vice versa. Is there a kinship between you and J. Michael being kind of high profile guys coming in together from different Pac-12 schools? Uh, definitely. I think uh, being able to play with J. Mike has been awesome, and that's like one of my like one of the best people I've met in my life, honestly. And he's a good dude and even better football player. And being able to bounce our game off each other, we're both very different receivers. Uh, he's more of like a fast guy and he's got like certain movements that I like to see him do. And I'm more, I feel like a physical guy and I could, you know, get open in different ways. So we've been able to bounce each other's game off each other and add certain things to our toolbox, which has been nice. And being able to have that on your team every single day and to learn from someone every single day and bounce ideas off each other has been awesome. You've, uh, you've caught passes from a number of quarterbacks at this point. Right. How would you characterize this group that's out here and what's it been like kind of trying to develop chemistry with them so far? I think it's been good. I think that we've made a lot of strides, especially from not only just spring to, well, yeah, from spring and then summer on, we've made a lot of big strides. Like I thought in spring, we towards like the second week of spring on, we were awesome. And then towards summer on, we worked on a lot more stuff and we were able to hit like a lot more types of passes that we like. And the timing has been really well. Um, I'm really happy where we are. And it's more of a trust thing that I've really liked. I think guys are starting to trust that, okay, we could put that ball there and they're still gonna go make a play. Like, I don't really care. Like, or I like this matchup and, or I like to place this here so he could go make a play. And I think that trust thing is always good, even more than chemistry. Like, I think that's part of it. And the main part of it is that trust to be like, okay, I could let me trust this guy to make, go make a play. Like, you know, I don't have to throw a perfect ball all the time. Like, he doesn't have to run a perfect route all the time. But if we trust each other and put it in a general area, we could go make plays for these guys. So, I think they're starting to trust that a lot. You, you've seen some quarterback competitions before at USC. Right. What kind of, from the outsider perspective, maybe a little bit, but what kind of strain do you think that puts on guys like trying to perform, trying to win that starting job? Um, I think it's just like any position. Uh, obviously, quarterback, it's a little harder because there's only one person that right. can play that spot. But I think that brings out the best in a 
that doesn't bring out the best in you, then I honestly don't want that person as my quarterback or I wouldn't want that guy as my receiver. Or if I didn't do that, like I don't even think I would deserve to play receiver for this team. Like it's all competition because you get in the game, it's the same thing. It's even more pressure because it's not like you just win the job or whatever and you just, oh, I won the job. Like I always live by something that it's like, you know, it's easy to get there. It's hard to stay there. So that's, that's my thing. I just want, I think competition brings the best out of competitors, not the right. best out of everybody, the best out of competitors. And those who fold in those situations, like not only football and life, like it's not, I don't think that's a good trait to have. So um, you may or may not have heard, it looks like Oregon and Washington are coming to the big 10 mm -hmm. uh, with SC and UCLA in 2024. How do you feel about that? I mean, like, you know, uh, maybe a little less travel and preserve some of those rivalries. How do you feel about uh, that? Um, I think, honestly, I haven't really looked a whole lot into that, to be honest. I think I've just just kind of locked in on winning this last one. I think being able to have a chance to win this last time being in the Pac-12 is a big, big deal. So, like, if you want to go out on the right foot. But in terms of that, I haven't really thought too far into that, to be honest. But... I think it's always good, obviously, to not have to travel as far every game. So, I mean, I think that's cool. I think that's my only really perspective on it. Is, is Oregon kind of an exciting team to have, a, you know, just because, you know, especially SC and, and UCLA versus Oregon, that's a big deal, right? Right. I didn't honestly, now that it's kind of just clicked, I didn't even know they were going to the big, what is it, big, 12, big, 10. big, 10. big 10. I didn't even know that. Just but that is, that is cool, though, because uh, Oregon, Oregon is a, great spot to play i mean the atmosphere there is awesome and it's obviously like no matter where you're at i think for the pac-12 that's always a team that you want to beat for sure like they're a great team they got you know great players and great atmosphere i mean that's a game that you want to win you want to win games against good teams so i think that'd be cool well as someone who's been through you know a couple of camps now how do you maybe pace yourself but at the same time it is a you know different program that you're with so mm -hmm. you're also trying to you know make sure you're up to speed so how do you i guess balance that um, I think my main thing is just taking care of your body. Like right after practices and everything, I'll go straight to the cold tubs, uh, try to stretch as much as I can and just get my body recovered for the next day. I know, um, I think I've always done that pretty well, even as a, like a young guy, but now I just got to take it to that level um, even more just as a vet, because as a vet, you just want to do things right even more just because you never know who's really looking at you. Um, but yeah, I think obviously at a pace schedule, I think for me more that I've grown, I think I said already was just the mental aspect of being able to, okay, like right after practice, go watch film instead of going to go take a nap. Like maybe I could go take a 30 minute nap instead of an hour and a half and go watch film for an hour and then take a 30 minute nap. So that's where I think I've grown. What, what have you seen from Dante specifically? How mm -hmm. you impressed you at all? Uh, he's been, I mean, he's been amazing. I mean, he's a young guy. So I think I said it like a while ago that, you know, this kid is way younger than me. And be, if I was throwing in that fire, you know, it's a hard position to be in, especially at quarterback. Probably at receiver, it's different. But uh, at quarterback and the way he's handled has been very impressive. Um, he makes a lot of throws where you just kind of sit there for two seconds after the guy catches in. You're like, wow, I don't know how he did that. He has those type of moments. But uh, he's continuing to grow. He's a young guy. Mentally, he's actually really smart. And he knows the playbook really well. And he's able to dissect defenses the way he wants to. And then obviously we already know the arm talent and everything. I mean, I don't think that's, you know, any surprise to anybody, but he's been, he's been good. And he's just, he's only going to get better, which is the most exciting part about him. Does he remind you of Caleb in any way? Uh, not really. I don't, I think they play like, I don't think they really play similar at all. To be honest, they both have their little swag to them. <laughs> uh, I would say that I think Dante, yeah, Dante. Yeah. We, you know, you got to keep him humble, right? <laughs> so, so basically, uh, yeah, Dante, he just go out there. He'll make a throw and he'll do like that Steph Curry turn away mm -hmm. before the guy catches in like that. Type. I love that stuff, man. Just like the confidence. That's what turns me up. So he's been really good. And like, you know, I don't think they're the same quarterback in honestly any way, but they're both great in their own way. They both have their different styles of play. So. Awesome. Thank you so much. Yeah, of course. Thank you, Thank you guys. Appreciate it.